everyone, welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to be unboxing the Her Mine box for November 2020. If you're unfamiliar with this subscription, this is a self-care and relaxation subscription. The box is $44.95 plus $5 shipping to the US, and I do have a 10% off coupon code down below. I've really loved getting this box. Now this box is sent to me free for review, so I did not pay for this box, but I've thoroughly enjoyed unboxing this the past few months. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I do lots of different subscription box unboxing videos here, so if you are a sub box lover like me, go ahead and subscribe and let's get in the box. So when you open it up, that is what it looks like. So the inside of the pamphlet goes through everything that you're receiving. Um, and the front cover, I love it, says three things I'm thankful for, and it has like lines so that you can write down what you're thankful for um, and put it out into the universe. So I really, really love that. And then on the back, it gives you a sneak peek for the theme for December. So the theme this December will be, tis the season to celebrate you and all that you have thrived through in 2020. This is really the season of you. So that'll be December's theme, but let's get into November. So I'm picking out the biggest thing in the box and it's making me super excited because it's a mug and it's beautiful. So this is a pink speckle ceramic mug and let's get her out of the box. This is hand wash recommended and do not microwave, which probably means I won't use it as often as a regular, my like dishwasher mugs, you know what I mean? But I still do love a pretty mug when I'm just needing to feel extra special. Look how pretty it is. It kind of ombre, well, I don't know if it's ombre, but it's a two-tone pink and white, and it has the gold flex. Even the handle has the gold flex and a gold rim. Nothing inside. It does have pinky up on the bottom. It's a good size mug. It's not too thick. I hate when mugs are too thick because when you drink it, it just feels weird. Um, but this feels good. The handle might be a little small for me, but I think that this is absolutely gorgeous. And if you're somebody who doesn't drink like coffees or teas or hot chocolates or things like that, or you don't like to use um, dishwasher safe mug, or non dishwasher safe mugs, because this is not dishwasher safe. You can put makeup brushes in here, you can put flowers, like you can do totally other different things with a mug if you don't want to drink out of it. So it says bask in shimmering serenity when you sip a mug that's sprinkled with gold. It holds up to 14 ounces of your favorite beverage, so pour yourself some drinkable staycation and get relaxing. Um, so this is by um, Female Tea Lovers and Pinky Up, and this was created in 2016 in Seattle, Washington by a group of women who love tea and want high quality ingredients but don't relate to the new age and stuffy images of other tea brands. So that's really cool. I'm super excited. I think this mug is adorable. So the next thing out is a set of friendship bracelets, and these are so cute. So it says, being thankful for the amazing people in our lives is an important practice. An equally important practice is being kind and encouraging to ourselves, and these friendship bracelets are designed to be shared or kept as a reminder of who we are thankful for. They're really nice quality. Now these are from Hands Producing Hope and the founder is Rebecca. Now there is actually a card about them here. So it talks about transforming lives with how you shop, support, educate, and impact. So I think that's really cool. Um, if you wanna pause the screen and read it, there you go. But I love fair trade, handmade, global impact. Love that. So this, her, Rebecca's business started in 2010 when she lived in Costa Rica for six months and began to learn about discrimination and hardships as native people group called a um, Guaymi, I don't know if that is right, um, face on a daily basis. She was moved by this and um, she tries to have a lasting positive impact on co that consumers can make on livelihoods of entire communities. I think it's so cool. And I think that these are actually really cute. I'm not usually a fan of these kind of bracelets, but I actually do like these ones. I'll probably go for the black because it's just, I love black. Um, but that's really, really awesome. I think it's so cute. All right, the next thing out is a key chain, and this is a rose gold leather snap keychain. It says, add some flair to your keys with this handmade leather snap keychain. I'm actually kind of excited about this because sometimes I just, I have a whole routine and like, I get a lot of boxes, right? And so I'll come home from the PO box and it's like, trying to strategically put my keys in my hand so that I can reach both keys so I can lock my car. And then when I get up the stairs, when I'm carrying a whole stack of boxes, being able to still unlock my door, it's like, it's a process. So this actually might make it easy because I could just slip them on this hook and then it's like, da, 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 you know, I don't know. Anyway, so this is from the Purple Chickadee and the founder is Danielle. Um, 
She is known as a 20-something sole creator behind the Purple Chickadee and has always been one to have multiple crafts on her desk at one time. In May of 2015, she decided to turn her crafting into a business and the Purple Chickadee was born. I think that's super cool and I just think that this is a really pretty color, so I'm very excited to use it. So I have a lot of stuff left. The next thing out is like so exciting. This is the Stroop Waffles, um, finger licking Dutch Stroop Waffles, which are delicious. Um, so it says, what's a Stroop Waffle? A waffle made from thin layers of baked dough with a thin layer of caramel syrup between. To enjoy a new Stroop Waffle experience, place your Stroop Waffle on top of your warm coffee or tea, and after a few minutes, the caramel in the middle will get warm and melting. Wait, what? That's a life hack. Never tried it that way before. I'm going to have to do that. Um, so this is by Femke Wehlentorf. I'm pronouncing that German because <laughs> I speak German, not Dutch. Um, but I can understand Dutch because they're so similar. Anyway, um, she's the co-founder of Finger Licking Dutch and she grew up in the Never Netherlands. Every week she would visit the local Dutch market to buy caramel stroop waffles and she started Finger Licking Dutch with her partner John, a formal NFL player, and one of their first dates she gave John a traditional Dutch food package with stroop waffles in it. So I think that that's super fun and I'm excited to eat these and I'm gonna have to try them on top of a cup of coffee to or whatever, well probably coffee, to like have the caramel melt. Though I sh usually have coffee in the morning and I should not be eating this in the morning. So maybe it'll be tea. I don't know. TMI, we'll figure it out. The next thing out is coffee to go with the Stroop Waffle and the mug, and I absolutely love that curation. So this is spicy, full-bodied brew with subtle herb notes that will warm you up on a cool fall day. I'm excited, I wanna smell it, but I don't wanna open it yet. So this is by Java Aroma Roasters, and the founder is Joanna. So starting the company came from a vision to provide exceptional coffee and support sustainability in the coffee industry. Using coffee as a vehicle to impact people's lives is simple but powerful. This woman-owned company is five years strong and looking forward to many more years and making a difference. Well, I think that's awesome and I'm super excited. Um, and I, I love coffee, so I'm curious. I wonder if this is flavored. I love flavored coffee. If not, it's still fine. I'll just add flavor to creamer, but I'm excited. The next thing out comes in a little baggie. Oh, this is really, really cute. So this is the it here. Let me see if it will focus so you can read it. It says thankful. So this colorful etched thankful heart is a fair treat product handmade in Kenya and is hand carved out of stone, sand dyed, and then etched using the simple hand tools. You can use this as a paperweight or keep the cool stone in the palm of your hand and rub with your thumb for stress release. I love the way it feels, honestly. It's cool. Um, I love, and I love the font. Why does that remind me of like, that F looks very German. If you're German, you know, but that looks like a very German F just the way that German's handwriting is. I don't have German handwriting in case you're wondering. So this was founded by Jenny and she, or, and this is by Venture Imports. So she founded the business in 2001 after an inspiring trip to South Africa in her final years of college and fair trade sparked her interest and she began researching how she could best help. Um, so they do, the company has been running um, with yearly trips back to Africa, Zimbabwe in the early years and Kenya in the more recent years. Well, I think that's awesome and I love this. This one looks more purple. The one here looks kind of pink. So I don't know if you could get different colors or if it's just the way the lighting was in that picture, but I'm so excited and now I can see my fingerprints all over it, but it's fine. There's also a fair trade card on that one as well. And then last but not least, it's a candle, so I'm very happy. This is by Her Mind Themselves, and this is the Apple Orchard Hand Poured Soy Candle. So the scent of apples is a crisp and fresh way to bring the feeling of the season to your home. We've included matches so you can enjoy the candle. Ooh, let me just knock over the box. So we can enjoy your candle right away. Um, well, let's smell this. So it has a gold lid, which I love. Whoa. Oh my God, that's really good. That smells like apple and bath <laughs> but like I don't know like the apple you'd use in the shower and it just smells so fresh and good I love that it is a red wax regular cotton wick super excited about that and then there's like this little cute little stopper with matches that way if you don't have anything to light a candle with there you go you have a couple matches and they're pink purple and white so again this was by Trudy and Pam who are the founders of True Mine so it says we are so thankful for our bond um, as not only mother and daughter, but also as friends. When Hermione, or Hermione was alive, the three of us were more like sisters. The fi that feeling of love and support is what we hope you feel with each and every box you receive. Now, Hermione, which is her, uh, I think it was her sister, um, was 
what the box is named after. That's why they named it Hermine, which I think is so, so, so beautiful. That was such a good box. Honestly, I mean, granted, I did not pay for this, but honestly, I think that's such a good box, such fun stuff inside. So definitely let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. What did you think of this box? And again, you can get 10% off on your first box using my code, and I'll see you in my next video.